Hey there, what's up people? On today's video, I wanna show you how you can remove the curio lock on any device. It doesn't matter if it's an old device or a new device. In this case, I found this device on my draw. It's a pretty old Motorola device, and I'm gonna show you how you can remove it from the curio lock. So first, I'm gonna remove the, the back on this device, and I'm gonna enter just one random SIM card that I just got. So we're gonna enter it first and we're gonna see what happens. So, as you can see guys, nothing's happening over here. Um, it's not getting any signal. Let's wait a little bit and see if something happens. Nope, as proof, there is the same sinker I just used before. And I can find my MEI over here, but we're not gonna use this method. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work for all devices. So yeah, it's not working guys. But before we turn off this device, we're gonna go to the dial and we're gonna enter the following. So you enter this, press the pound key and you'll have your IMEI number available here. So anyway, we're gonna just use it in a bit. At first, we're gonna go to safeandlogs.com on your browser. It can be on a computer, on a cell phone, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna go to services and choose the first one. As you can see, unlock your mobile device from any carrier in any country. This is exactly what we want. And as you can see, we need to enter some really basic information. We're gonna start with our name. Then we need to enter a valid email that we have access to it because all information will be sent to that email. Then we need to select the device model we want to unlock. There is actually everything here, so you have no excuse. So I have model over here. Um, and I need to enter the IMEI number. So remember guys, I just got it. So I have it over here and we're gonna enter it on the form. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's gonna be really straightforward. I got everything. Please double check all information. That's the terms and condition and press on the proceed button. Hey guys, at this point of the process, it's gonna be really straightforward. So all you have to do is to obtain this ID over here. There is a full tutorial down below where you can see or you can watch everything that you need to know about this process. It doesn't take longer than five minutes. So I'm not gonna show you this part of the process, otherwise it will be too long. So make sure to watch the tutorial, follow every step, and I'll see you again once I'm done with mine. Okay guys, I just finished doing it and all I have to do is to go into my inbox. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to wait for the ID. So we're going to wait for that. Great. Activation ID ready. We're going to open this email. Hey there, Nick. We have received and confirmed your activation ID. Keep in mind this ID can only be used for the device you have selected. Well, that's perfect. So all I have to do is to copy this code. I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna go to the order and I'm gonna paste it over here. So if you can, as you can see, it says start order. I'm gonna press it. It says your order is now in progress. And all you have to do at this point is to wait for a few minutes, uh, go back to your inbox and you will receive a confirmation confirming that your device is now free from the carrier. So we're gonna wait for that confirmation. All right, Motorola device unlocked from carrier. So let's open this email. Hey Nick, great news, your Motorola device was unlocked from the carrier and you all the benefits that comes with it. Thank you for your support, SU team. So this is great news, but uh, we're gonna take the same device that we just used before, this old Motorola device. So we're turning it on. <laughs> it's so old, you have to enter the SIM card on the back. Anyway, I'm gonna enter the SIM card over here and then we're gonna wait if something happens. So let's wait. Uh, it's picking up some signal, that's good news. Let's wait if the 4G is activated. So let's wait for that. It shouldn't take long. And as you can see, everything is working. It's asking me to sign up to the network. It's completely normal, it's a prepaid uh, SIM card. This is great. After having this device locked for so long, I can now use it again. 
and it's all thanks to safeunlocks.com. If you guys wanna try it, just go ahead and type on your browser safeunlocks.com, follow the steps that I just showed you before, and you'll be able to use it once again. So I'll see you again on the next video, and I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. See you.